How to be assertive. In this video, we're going to look at how one can be more assertive and avoid being taken undue advantage of. We'll look at what it means to be assertive, how to become more assertive, and how to keep that assertiveness in check. Assertiveness is a skill that may come naturally to some but not to all. It's a trait and skill that can get you far in life, when balanced evenly. However, if not kept in check, assertiveness can come across as abrasive, rude, or even mean or aggressive. People usually exhibit three kinds of behaviors, namely aggressive, assertive or passive. As this video looks at assertive behavior in some detail, let's also look briefly about the other two. When you yield to someone else's preferences while suppressing your own rights and needs, you are being passive or submissive. If you are a passive person, others may take you for granted and take advantage of you. Submissive behavior also includes feeling guilty and thinking you are imposing, when you do attempt to ask for what you want. When you communicate in a demanding, abrasive or even hostile way with others, you are exhibiting aggressive behavior. Aggressive people, typically, are insensitive to others' rights and feelings and will attempt to obtain what they want through coercion or intimidation. When you are assertive, you are neither passive nor aggressive, but direct and honest. What does it mean to be assertive? According to the Better Health Channel, being assertive means being direct about what you need, want, feel, or believe in a way that's respectful of the views of others. Being assertive can offer many benefits to almost every area of your life, when kept in balance. For example, when you're more assertive in the workplace, you show your superiors that you have the qualities required of a leader and the confidence necessary to go for what you need or want. In your relationship, being assertive has many benefits. First off, it can help you have the confidence to ask someone out in the first place. Secondarily, assertiveness allows you to identify and be clear about what you want and need in the relationship improving communication between you and your partner and ensuring the healthy state of your relationship. What can you do to be more assertive? Number 1. The first thing you have to do when trying to be more assertive is to make the decision to positively assert your views and commit to it. It's not enough just to think about maybe trying to be more assertive in situations, you have to do it. Number 2. The next step is improving your communication and listening skills. These two skills are crucial in assertiveness. You need to communicate openly and honestly with a respect for those with whom you're speaking. In addition to that, you have to become an active listener. Pay close attention to what people say to you, try to understand their perspective and don't interrupt. The key to having the right balance in your assertiveness is to respect others and allow them the space to be assertive as well. Number 3. Boundaries are the rules and limits you create for yourself that help you decide what you will and won't allow. You don't want people to walk all over you, but you don't want people to think you are a bully, either. Setting boundaries will empower you to know when you need to say yes and when you want to say no. Number 4. Monitor your assertiveness. Watch what you are saying when trying to be assertive. It's all about the balance of being overly assertive and not being assertive enough. Pay close attention to what you say and the reaction it invokes in the person to whom you are speaking with and make adjustments when necessary. Know when to stop and when to push it as it can be a problem to be overly assertive. Watch how the person you are speaking with reacts to what you are saying and judge or make adjustments accordingly. How can you keep your assertiveness in check? 
There's a fine line between positive assertiveness and abrasive rudeness. A good way to keep yourself in check and ensure you aren't towing that line is to be observant, not just of yourself but of those around you. Take time throughout your day to reflect on yourself, your behavior, and your choices. Watch how others behave around you. If your loved ones seem uncomfortable with your behavior or put off by your attitude, you should examine your assertiveness and maybe make some adjustments. Being assertive can get you far in life, but there's a fine line between being positively assertive and being rude. If you keep yourself in check when working on your assertiveness and create a good balance, you can go further and be happier in your life. Assertiveness can lead to promotions, healthier relationships, and a more positive self-image. Those were some tips on how to improve your assertive behavior. Please like, share and subscribe to be informed of forthcoming videos.